Jean-Luc Nancy Jean-Luc Nancy, slash NNC slash, French, born July 26, 1940, is a French philosopher. Nancy's first book, published in 1973, was Le Titre de la Lettre, the title of the letter, 1992, a reading of the work of French psychoanalyst Jacques Lacan, written in collaboration with Philippe Lecoulet-Barté. Nancy is the author of works on many thinkers, including La Remarque Speculative in 1973, The Speculative Remark, 2001, on Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel, Le Discours de la Syncopie, 1976, and L'Impertif Categorique, 1983, on Immanuel Kant, Ego Sum, 1979, on René Descartes, and Le Partage des Voix, 1982, on Martin Heidegger. In addition to Le Titre de la Lettre, Nancy collaborated with Le Coulet Barté on several other books and articles. Nancy is credited with reopening the question of the ground of community and politics with his work La Communauté de Suvry, The Inoperative Community. Blancho and Agamben responded to this work with The Unavowable Community, 1983, and The Coming Community, 1983 respectively. The only monograph that Jacques Derrida ever wrote on a contemporary philosopher is on touching, Jean-Luc Nancy. Biography Jean-Luc Nancy graduated in philosophy in 1962 in Paris. He taught for a short while in Colmar before becoming an assistant at the Strasbourg Institute of Philosophy in 1968. In 1973, he received his doctorate with a dissertation on Kant under the supervision of Paul Ricoeur. Nancy was then promoted to Mater de Conferences at the Université des Sciences Humaines de Strasbourg. In the 1970s and 1980s, Nancy was a guest professor at universities all over the world, from the University of California to the Freie Universität in Berlin. He has been invited as a cultural delegate of the French Ministry of External Affairs to speak in Eastern Europe, Britain and the United States. In 1987, Nancy received his doctor d'état from the Université de toulouse la Myriel under the supervision of Gérard Grenell and a jury including Jean-Francois Lyotard and Jacques Derrida. It was published as L'Experience de la Liberté, 1988. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Nancy suffered serious medical problems. He underwent a heart transplant and his recovery was made more difficult by a long-term cancer diagnosis. He stopped teaching and participating in almost all of the committees with which he was engaged, but continued to write. Many of his best-known texts were published during this time. An account of his experience, Lintris, The Intruder, was published in 2000. Nancy was a professor at the University of Strasbourg. Filmmaker Claire Dennis has made at least two movies inspired by Jean-Luc Nancy and his works. Many other artists have worked with Nancy as well, such as Simon Hontai. Soon Gui Kim and Philip Warnell. Nancy has written about the filmmaker Rob Oskiarostami and featured prominently in the film The Easter. Major works Les Fins de In 1980, Nancy and Le Coulet Barté organized a conference at Centre Culturel International de Cerisi La Salle en Derrida and Politics entitled Les Fins de Lome, The Ends of Man. The conference solidified Derrida's place at the forefront of contemporary philosophy and was a place to begin an in-depth conversation between philosophy and contemporary politics. Further to their desire to rethink the political, Nancy and Le Coulet Barté set up in the same year the Centre de Recherches Philosophiques sur la Politique, Centre for Philosophical Research on the Political. The centre was dedicated to pursuing philosophical rather than empirical approaches to political questions, and supported such speakers as Claude Lafour and Jean-Francois Lyotard. By 1984, however, Nancy and Le Coulet Barté were dissatisfied with the direction work at the center was taking, and it was closed down. During that period Le Coulet Barté and Nancy produced several important papers, together and separately. Some of these texts appear in Les Fins de l'Homme à partir du travail de Jacques Derrida, Colloque de Cerisi, 23 Juliet 2 août 1980, 1981, Rejure la politique, 1981, La du politique, 1983, and Le Mite Nazi. 1991, Revised Edition, originally published as Les Mechanismes du Fascisme, 1981. Many of these texts are gathered in translation in Retreating the Political, 1997. La Communauté de Nancy's first book on the question of community, La Communauté de Suvry, The Inoperative Community, 1986, is perhaps his best known work. This text is an introduction to some of the main philosophical themes Nancy continued to work with. Nancy traces the influence of the notion of community to concepts of experience, 
discourse, and the individual, and argues that it has dominated modern thought. Discarding popular notions, Nancy redefines community, asking what can it be if it is reduced neither to a collection of separate individuals, nor to a hypostasized communal substance, for example, fascism. He writes that our attempt to design society according to pre-planned definitions frequently leads to social violence and political terror, posing the social and political question of how to proceed with the development of society with this knowledge in mind. Lako Muno Suvari means that community is not the result of a production, be it social, economic or even political, nationalist, production, it is not an oeuvre, a work of art, oeuvredar, but art is here understood in the sense of artifice. L'experience de la liberté. Nancy's dissertation for his doctorate d'état looked at the works of Kant, Schelling, Sartre, and Heidegger, and concentrated on their treatment of the topic of freedom. It was published in 1988 as L'experience de la liberté, the experience of freedom. Since then, Nancy has continued to concentrate on developing a reorientation of Heidegger's work. Nancy treats freedom as a property of the individual or collectivity, and looks for a non-subjective freedom which would attempt to think the existential or finite origin for every freedom. Nancy argues that it is necessary to think freedom in its finite being, because to think of it as the property of an infinite subject is to make any finite being a limit of freedom. The existence of the other is the necessary condition of freedom, rather than its limitation. La sense du monde Nancy addresses the world in its contemporary global configuration in other writings on freedom, justice and sovereignty. In his 1993 book La Sense du Monde, The Sense of the World, he asks what we mean by saying that we live in one world, and how our sense of the world is changed by saying that it is situated within the world, rather than above or apart from it. Dr. to Nancy, the world, or existence, is our ontological responsibility, which precedes political, judicial and moral responsibility. He describes our being in the world as an exposure to a naked existence, without the possibility of support by a fundamental metaphysical order or cause. Contemporary existence no longer has recourse to a divine framework, as was the case in feudal society where the meaning and course of life was predetermined. The contingency of our naked existence as an ontological question is the main challenge of our existence in contemporary global society. All of these themes relating to world are taken up again by Nancy in his 2002 book La Creation du monde de la mondialisation, the creation of the world or globalization, where he makes the distinction between globalization as a deterministic process and mondialization as an open-ended world-forming process. Here, he connects his critique with Marx's critique of political economy, which saw free labor as what produces the world. Nancy argues that an authentic dwelling in the world must be concerned with the creation of meaning, enjoyment, and not final purposes, closed essences, and exclusive worldviews. The present system of expanding cities and nodes in the planetary techno-scientific network, tied to capitalism, leads to the loss of world, because the world is treated as an object, globe, even though the self-deconstruction of ontotheology increasingly made it the subject of its own creation. Etres en Goulier Pluriel In his book Etres en Goulier Pluriel, being singular plural, 2000, Nancy tackles the question of how we can speak of a plurality of a we without making the we a singular identity. The premise of the title essay in this book is that there is no being without being with, that I does not come before we, i.e., Dasein does not precede mean, and that there is no existence without coexistence. In an extension from his thoughts on freedom, community, and the sense of the world, he imagines the being with as a mutual exposure to one another that preserves the freedom of the I and thus a community that is not subject to an exterior or pre-existent definition. The five essays that follow the title piece continue to develop Nancy's philosophy through discussions of sovereignty, war and technology, eco-technics, identity, the Gulf War and Sarajevo. Nancy's central concern in these essays remains the being with, which he uses to discuss issues of psychoanalysis, politics and multiculturalism, looking at notions of self and other in current contexts. Artistic Analysis Nancy has also written for art catalogues and international art journals, especially on contemporary art. He also writes poetry and for the theatre and has earned respect as an influential philosopher of art and culture. In his book Les Muses published in 1994, The Muses, 1996, he begins with an analysis of Hegel's thesis on the death of art. Among the essays in The Muses is a piece on Caravaggio, originally a lecture given at the Louvre. In this essay, 
Nancy looks for a different conception of painting where painting is not a representation of the empirical world, but a presentation of the world, of sense, or of existence. Dot Nancy has published books on film and music, as well as texts on the problem of representation, on the statute of literature, on image and violence, and on the work of Anne Kawara, Charles Baudelaire, and Friedrich Hölderlin. Film Theory Nancy's text Lintras formed the basis for French director Claire Dennis's film of the same name. He has written extensively on film, including The Evidence of Film, a short work on Abascaro's Tommy. Nancy appears in the film The Easter, based on Martin Heidegger's 1942 lectures on Friedrich Hölderlin's poem Der Easter, published as Hölderlin's Hymn The Easter. The film focuses on the relation of politics, technology and myth. Nancy has developed three films in conjunction with artist filmmaker Philip Warnell. He appears in their 2009 film Outlandish, Strange Foreign Bodies, which also features a text he wrote specifically for the project, Etrange Coretranche. Nancy contributed a poem, Oh the Animals of Language to Warnell's 2014 feature-length filming of Harlem, 21 Stories in the Air. Dot Warnell and Nancy worked on a new text film collaboration which was completed in 2017, The Flying Proletarian. Bibliography titles in French-English translations. Bibliography titles in French-English translations. Bibli